earlier in the week, got up at bloody 3am, dangerous day, picked me up and um, we went out for, a, for an early morning look. Again, we were looking for stags, perfect day, it was last Thursday, the um, weather window was just it was outstanding so it was, it was worth climbing the hill by torch in the dark. But um, I think the only deer we saw that morning was actually in our headlights, <laughs> going, going up the hill. The rest of the morning nothing happened so it's been an interesting week. It is just the start of the season, we'll just keep hunting. Um, normally, not really into shooting hinds at this time of the year, but uh, that poor guy over there, he's trying really, really hard. He's done a couple of hunts with me, hasn't had much success. He and his dad have done massive miles, they've been over the main range into Backridge Hut seen deer but he hasn't been able to pull the trigger on one yet so um, I thought he deserved that deer this morning and um, that's why with the weather packing in we thought yeah let's have a crack at it and uh, it's a tough shot 410 in this bloody wind but you've got to put lead in the air sometimes we did that today so he'll keep learning Eventually, we'll get him a deer. He'll get himself a deer. Otherwise, onwards and upwards. So, guys, Max is about 10 times fitter than us, and a hell of a lot younger, so. We're sending him up the track with the rifle, in case he bumps an easy one. Um, we'll just keep plotting up, and then get the binos out and start looking. It's heavy carry carrying all that water, I know that. Yeah. And it's a bit hot. It was 28 degrees when we left home. It's still really warm. All the sun that's soaked into these clay pans, radiating heat. Right. So it's onwards and upwards through the dreaded contorta. These are the biggest, biggest problem in the Kawaka Forest Park right now. Some people think that the deer are a problem, and possums certainly are, deer aren't. It's contorta that are gonna kill the park for future generations. It's gonna cost millions of dollars just to contain it, let alone stop it. Because they are just everywhere. So finally, bringing out to some open country. Can I get the GPOs to work? Max is further out the face here, and not a red's coming up the track, so I just leave my pack here until I catch up with her. Meantime, I'm going to start glassing. Well guys, suddenly the lovely rain's come. We didn't really want it. It was meant to hit this at lunchtime and clear up by four o'clock and have a perfect evening. But the weather gods have uh, changed their minds. We had a big thunderclap before, so now we've whacked up the fly and we'll just sit it out, see what happens. This could be home for the night. Looks like 
we're going to stay the night, risk it, hopefully there's not much rain, we want this face to clear, so we can find a stag. Thanks, this bloody rain's coming back in, yeah. time to head back to the tent. Okay. Yeah, okay, let's get out of here. the uh, boudoir for the night. I think we'll survive. If not, we'll get a wet ass. Well guys, Max just had a crack at a seeker at 410 yards. Um, There's a dirty great southerly blowing through, but we tried to allow about six inches for it. Um, looking on the camera with my bloody glasses on, I'm picking it to miss. Um, at first the deer ran down into the scrub and I thought, bloody awesome, he's, he's cracked it. And then, what would have been, 20 seconds? Yeah. Later, it came back out and ran across the face on an angle slightly uphill, looking very, very happy. So, we may have clean missed this one. And as you can see, it's a bloody big gully to go over there to do a search with the dog. Stop it, dog. When we believe we've, uh, we've missed it. So, we're not going to put the yards on it to go and have a nosy because I'm pretty confident you haven't got it, eh? Yeah. Which is a bastard, but that's hunting. Um, the weather's starting to clag in, so that's probably us for the day. It's the only deer we've seen this morning, and um, Max obviously spotted it, so thumbs up to Max. Big stags are still hiding out from us. Um, that's about all we've got to report, really. Annie's keen to go and have a look, but she's always keen. As I say, on the big screen at home, we'll tell the real story, and I'm pretty confident that deer's okay, so we'll go back, pack up camp, and um, head for home. Think about the next trip. Hey, good morning everybody. This is where our little boudoir was last night. I was quite lucky to take you on a bit of a tour. I had the best spot last night, so I was right in the middle, looking out. Well, you can't see much of the view this morning. Tent flies sagged a wee bit. I'm waiting for that thing up there in the sky to come out because at the moment the wind is pretty chilly and uh, we've seen one deer so far. Fingers crossed we're going to see some more. I've just come back to uh, get some more warm clothing on because it's a bit cold. 
fingers crossed, hot barrels later on, eh? Cold, eh? <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Need a bloody um, nickname for him. Ah, yes, we do. Yes. I reckon it, it could be Mullet Man. Oh, Mullet Man? <laughs> Mullet Man? Yeah. Has that got a ring to it? Oh, he's, well, he's a tradie now, a tradie builder, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tradie. Tradie. <laughs> no, I like Mullet. Mullet. <laughs> anyway, we'll, work, we'll keep working on that one. Yeah, exactly. us guys for a, another adventure all going well flying to Backridge next weekend with uh, East Kawika helicopters really looking forward to that so, fingers crossed for another good uh, weather window